there's so many elements to the go-to culture. Um, in engineering, it's very much a culture of ownership and empowerment. There's that expectation sometimes in the industry. You start as a software developer and then, okay, you get to write code, but you don't do architecture. And then when you become an architect, you only do architecture. I have architects coming to me and they tell me, you know what, I, I miss writing code. And I, I still want to do architecture, but I, I want to do everything. I tell people, we love architects, but if you come here, you'll have to write code as well. <laughs> and, and people see that very positively. I think the people who thrive here see the opportunity. So people who don't look at the problem, but look at the ways to solve it. We have regularly held hackathons and several new products have been born out of hackathons. We had a, an all Hungarian team which looked at the remote support group. They looked at how we could implement a technology driven solution to prevent spammers from abusing our products. And they built that in three days to a stage where we can integrate it into a GoToResolve. This really demonstrates how innovation is key to GoTo's DNA and how a few days of engineering time can then build a market differentiating technological capability that's going to be launched on the market. You go in engineering because you want to build things that people will use and it makes really that purpose really concrete. We'll work on world-class products and actually products used by end users. Products that have a lot of scale, that have traffic. If you want to work with people from everywhere in the world, this is the place. You have access to that world-class team that you can be a part of wherever you are.